339 was ninth, and 347 placed 10th. Now in the ring is our senior two-year-old cow class. Class award is presented by Seamers Holstein Farm of Newton, Wisconsin. Our judges have completed their placing in the Melking Shorthorn Junior Two-Year-Old Cow Class. Would our junior exhibitors please take a step forward? Our first junior is entry 707, Joe Mill, Mr. Wright, Aloha, shown by Aubrey, Aiden, and Elena Top, Botkins, Ohio. Our second junior, is entry 704, Pine Valley Lovey Dovey P, shown by Estella James, Mineral Point, Wisconsin. Placing third in the class is entry 703. She's also best bred and owned, KNH Endress Mid Devil Aunt Cece, shown by Mike Gregory and Tyler Endress, Reedsburg, Wisconsin. Second in the class to 710, Heavenly Zebra, also shown by Tyler Endress of Reedsburg. And winning the class and honors of best utter, 
to Mike Star Trans Rebecca, shown by Tristan Upchurch of Dream Chasers, Hebron, Illinois. Congratulations. And now to our judge for his comments. Really nice class of junior two-year-olds here. They keep coming at this uh, little futurity cow, and she keeps beating them down. Just an extremely balanced cow, as we talked about already. She is the best utter in this class, although it's a little bit closer in the junior two class than it was in the futurity, and she's starting to lose a little bit of that definition of seam, but just so much more fullness at the top of the rear udder. She's higher and wider at the top. In addition, she's a cow that exhibits more dariness over that head and neck region, a little bit flatter in the thigh, just a little bit more ring presence out here than this super, super balanced cow coming out in second. Second place cow has a beautiful, snugly attached rear udder. As I said, just ran out of that width at the top of the rear rudder today, but she does use that uh, advantage she's got in dariness, especially when you look at these two cows over the shoulders. She's so much cleaner over the shoulders, more feminine through that head and neck region. Really love the rear view on this third place cow. She's got a lot of width to rear rudder, a lot of width through that rump and strength up through that front end. Just lacks that ultra dariness to get her any higher in the class today, but she does use that big whopping wide rear rudder to go over a silky little clean balanced cow coming out in fourth. Fourth place cow actually follows first and second on that style and balance a little bit more so just doesn't have that extreme width of rear rudder today but it is her dariness and clean cutness and angularity that takes her over the problem cow for Matt and I in this class this big monster cow coming out in fifth place you love the extreme frame that she's got a correct memory system as well just is not is not exhibiting enough dariness uh, for us today to get her up any higher but she does use her advantage a little bit more level on that other floor than this uh, cow coming out in six six place cows a nice balanced cow with a correct rear rudder in addition I might like change her on those rear legs a little bit give her a little bit more strength of pasterns make her move a little bit more comfortably uh, to get her any higher but congratulations on a nice class of cows